uh, I greatly respect Carlo Rovelli. He's a, he's a, a brilliant physicist, and so so when I disagree here, I respectfully disagree with with him on this. I I, I on this particular point, I, I think that um, there is a great opportunity for science and spirituality to interact, and that that really is going to be critical going forward. The both have a piece of the puzzle that the other needs. Science has really discovered a powerful way of avoiding the perils of human dogmatism. Mm -hmm. We get stuck in our ideas. We get a troop of people that believe the same thing, and then we defend our ideas. And as soon as you are wedded to a particular idea, you, you, you're stuck, you stagnate. Science, mm -hmm. individual scientists are just as dogmatic as any other person on the planet, but science as a social institution has figured yes. out a way to get around that, that flaw of human nature mm -hmm. of, of being dogmatic. But, but science so far has been physicalist. And yes. in, in that sense, not spiritual, right? It's, it's, it's just taken the physical world as fundamental. So this, what the, the, the spiritual side has brought is this re recognition from deep intuition that the physical, what we call the physical world can't be the final reality. They, many, many deep, in many religious, you know, mystical Sufism, um, you know, Judaism, Christianity, and, 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 and so forth, Islam, I mean, all these traditions have this very deep spiritual understanding that Space-time can't be fundamental. There's there's something deeper to us, but they haven't had the the powerful tools of science to take that intuition and turn the intuition into something precise and testable. So we need to bring the two sides together: the the insights from the spiritual traditions, the the techniques of science, and and then the 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 good minds of both. To, to work together uh, non-dogmatically. And I think we'll all be surprised and we'll all have to let go of preconceived notions, scientists and spiritual, and it'll be a humbling experience for all of us or we won't move forward. I think we can, we'll all have to give up things that we thought were dearly true and we'll, we'll be surprised.